Hi there. I hope you're keeping cool if you're in the northern hemisphere or you're keeping warm if you're in the southern hemisphere. It's a brisk winter's day here in Nelson, New Zealand. I just thought I'd take the opportunity to read you a passage or two from my new book, Peacock Dreaming, The Wisdom of Flowers. So the book is currently available on Amazon.com, Amazon.com.au and I believe it's even available on the Indian Amazon. That Peacock Dreaming, The Wisdom of Flowers is also available on Amazon.co.au. UK and even on Bocas which from what I understand is a Swedish uh, bookstore. Books also available on Barnes and on Barnes and Noble in the US and Balboa Press bookstore. So I'm currently working very hard at getting the books into libraries and bookstores in New Zealand and Australia. I'm just waiting on my stock to arrive Hopefully it will be in the next week or two. So I've just opened up to a random page in the book and the passage which I'm going to read to you today is called Blessings. I know it's difficult to see this sometimes, but you have a lot to celebrate today. You may see life through the eyes of your sorrow, but there are many things to feel blessed for. Seeing this beauty doesn't take away your pain and suffering, but taking time to acknowledge these blessings may take the edge off a little bit. During even the roughest of times, our lives still contain blessings worth acknowledging. These reminders can salve our wounds and soothe our troubled hearts, even if just momentarily. Our animals can sense our pain, offering the comfort of their presence, reminding us that we're not alone. A walk in the park, in nature, can provide respite, when we take the time to appreciate the intricate beauty of plants and flowers. There are blessings to be found in most situations. It's easy for us to be drawn into the drama and the tragedy of a situation that we often forget to acknowledge the more positive aspects. Life is magical. The more we begin to acknowledge the blessings in our lives, the more those blessings will become apparent when we can appreciate the better aspects of our circumstances the more we begin to wake up every day and say how did i become so lucky instead of why me isn't it funny when we're going through difficult times in our lives we forget to just stop and take time to appreciate the small beautiful things in life I don't know what it is about us, we just can't, I'm too busy, I'm too busy to stop and look at that stuff, okay? I'm going through too much stuff right now. The crazy thing is that taking two seconds out of your day to stop and look at the sky, look at the formations, the clouds, the sunset, the sunrise, the beauty of the flowers, the trees, the mountains, you know, I doesn't take away from that which you're experiencing in the in in the troublesome side of on the troublesome side of things but it does give you a bit of a break emotionally and mentally from the dramas and in, in the mind that goes on when you're dealing in those situations I don't know about you but for me I've fallen into the trap many times have holding a pity party. I don't mean to sound harsh because I'm, I'm talking about myself <laughs> but you know I become so busy feeling sorry for myself that I don't stop 
and take in the beauty of the world around me. I know that when people, other people in those times say, hey, you know, stop, take a moment, take a sec, go for a walk, do something nice for yourself. My immediate response is, I don't have time for that. How is it going to help me? The crazy thing is, it's going to help me a hell of a lot. So here's a challenge. The next time when you're going through something, whether you've got a parent in hospital who's going through some serious medical issues or a friend or another family member, when someone says, look after yourself, or why don't you go for a walk? Or if there's an opportunity to go for a walk, or whether it be along the beach or along the river, why don't you just take five minutes and do it? It helps a hell of a lot. I did it last year when Dad was in hospital. And I excused myself from the hospital and I only went away for 15, 20 minutes just to walk down by the river. I can't begin to tell you how refreshed I felt just being around nature. So there's the challenge. I hope this video finds you all really well. Until next time.